Hey, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're doing twice smoked holiday ham. Be sure and stick around. That is a spiral sliced honey ham. Very common, you find them at any grocery store pretty much. Let's get it out of the netting. Includes a glaze packet. Ooh. They glue these things on here. These are kind of fun to use sometimes, but we're not gonna use it today. This is of course a bone-in ham. And I like to cut these a certain way uh, because all the juices will pull down here at the bottom. So try to cut from the top, go around in a circle. Makes for easier cleanup. And sometimes you'll find these little plastic doohickeys on there. Be sure to remove those. All right, this spiral half ham is about 10 and a half pounds. Anything that's loose, I kind of remove that. Nothing much to do on these things except kind of clean up the stuff that's wanting to fall off anyway. Feed those to your dogs. There's not much to this, folks. All we are really doing here is adding some more flavor and pretty much just using the smoker to warm this up. Today we're going with Kinder's brown sugar rub. It's kind of sweet and kind of savory. And that's why we're using this today. It's just a few days after Thanksgiving. So let's get this ham seasoned up. I like to kind of get these spiral cuts, the inside exposed so that we can get some rub down in there, just like so. It's windy, so we gotta be careful with that rub. Wind coming from the north, a little chilly today. We don't have to go crazy with the rub. <laughs> Stuff's flying everywhere. It's a nice even application. Remember, we've already got flavor on this ham. And we're gonna hit this with the glaze later. All right, let's give it a flip. Hit the outside. Try to get all these sides covered. That will create a nice caramelized exterior. Okay, same thing on this side. And we'll just let this hang out for a little while. Let the rub absorb into the meat while we get the Blaze Kamado fired up to about 250 degrees. We're gonna run with Royal Oak Lump Charcoal and Cherry Chunks today. All right, y'all, the uh, Blaze Kamado is up to about 250 degrees. It looks like this ham is ready, so let's get it on the smoker. All right, let's get this big boy on the grill. So we're gonna let that run for about two hours, so it'll be nice and warm when we pull it off. And all that brown sugar rub that we applied to the exterior is gonna be nice and caramelized. It's gonna be great. We'll also be sure and hit it with a glaze before we pull it off the smoker. We'll be back in about two hours. All right, folks, we are back and uh, we got about 30 minutes left on that ham. It's time to make a glaze. We're gonna start with some brown sugar, honey Dijon mustard, cinnamon, and Dr. Pepper in this thing. We won't add much, maybe a quarter of a can. It goes in, that goes in, and our cinnamon. Next, we just wanna incorporate all the ingredients and make a mess. We're gonna go put this on the smoker and let it sit for about 20 minutes. Okay, folks, let's see what that ham looks like. Oh, perfect. It's exactly what we want. That glazes heat up, this little bowl here. We're just gonna drizzle that onto the ham. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna close her back up and let her go for about another 10 minutes. Okay, folks, this looks and smells awesome. I can't wait to get a bite. Let's go in. See, I want some glaze and some texture and some rub. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look how juicy that is. It's amazing. Yum. Okay, folks, that's the bite we're looking for right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the glaze is totally worth the time. Be sure and do that. It's easy, inexpensive, simple. It's gonna please everybody in your household, all your guests. 
To make this over the holidays, it's not a one trick pony, you can do it several different ways. This is a crowd pleaser for about 25, 30 bucks. Make sure you get the bone in, spiral cut, half ham. Follow the instructions on the video. If you're new here and you haven't already, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It helps us out a lot and we appreciate it. Hey, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q for whiskey and barbecue meat. I'll see you next time.